To the saints of our parents, congratulations on your graduations, with your peers full of careers, but what about you what do you want to do after school? This question wasn't really helpful to me as I spent my summers not for money but for a child evangelist missionary. But now we're adults with responsibilities is this in dichotomy with Christianity? Many things are boiling to the surface, like wake up you need to make money. By the very people who blessed us for being adolescent missionaries, I pray that you would consider a place called Labry. Elabri Fellowship began in Switzerland in 1955, when Francis and Edith Schaefer decided in faith to open their home to be a place where people might find satisfying answers to their questions and practical demonstration of Christian care. It was called Elabri, the French word for shelter, because they sought to provide a shelter from the pressures of a relentlessly secular 20th century. As time went by, so many people came that others were called to join the Schaefers in their work and more branches were established. Many Elbury workers are involved in conferences, public speaking, and book writing projects. At Swiss Elbury, students live and take many of their meals together in a large chalet called Bellevue. Francis Schaeffer and the message of Elbury was, and it couldn't be boiled down to any one simple message, except to say questions should be taken seriously all sorts of questions. Questions about life, questions about the family, questions about art, questions about culture, questions about politics, questions about intellectual achievement, questions about daily life should be taken seriously. And one of the things Labrie was always good at emphasizing was that, that the message of Christ wasn't a spiritual religious thing, but it involved all the areas of life. Now, I had heard people say things similar to that prior to that, but what they meant is, you go out, you tell people about Jesus, and you live as a good Christian no matter what, which meant you followed the Ten Commandments, and you, you did, whereas they were saying at Labrie was that, oh no, you're, you, what you actually believe goes into the root and substance of everything and changes it. You will find something different at each branch of Elabri. This is influenced by the location, culture, individual workers, workers' families, and the unique combination of personalities that make each branch what it is. The students who come also add a lot of variety to the dynamic of an experience at Elabri. Each branch is staffed by one or more Elabri families and single people, called workers, who look after those who come and stay, the cooking, cleaning, gardening, etc. Meals often involve lengthy discussions centered on a topic of concern to a particular student or worker. Some evenings are given over to lectures, films, Bible studies, and further discussions prompted by these opportunities for learning. There are no prerequisites for attending Elabri. Some students are Christians and some are not. But we must trust God with the work we do here. Prayer is the lifeblood of the trust. I hope this will help you to dig more into the wealth that Elabri has to offer. You can start with a playlist I created. Labry Fellowship Family Ship YouTube playlist which you can find in the description of this video as well as the Labry website by clicking the more icon and these two hyperlinks. I hope to see you there in the nerdy inquiry of the divine sincerely Keel Shivers.